The BitPhoenix Prodigy M is compact and ready for anything. Click now to learn more. Welcome to kind of a cheating unboxing. This is the Corsair Raptor K30. I do have a box and there is a keyboard inside, but I have definitely already taken it out of the box. So inside you will find the keyboard. Of course, the presentation of yours will be a little bit better because your box won't be ripped and your keyboard will be like wrapped in plastic or something. You also find uh, do, 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 a warranty guide as well as a quick start guide. But quite frankly, if you need a quick start guide for a keyboard, then here, let me help you. This is a USB port. No, this isn't a port, this is a plug. Maybe I should check the quick start guide. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the USB plug goes into the computer and then don't worry about it too much beyond that. Now, what does the K30 do differently than the other Corsair keyboards? Well, number one is that it is more value conscious, which is to say it's cheaper, it's less expensive. It has membrane key cap keycaps. I did it again. We lost a previous shot because I said keycaps. It has membrane key switches versus mechanical key switches, which are what you'll find on Corsair's higher end keyboards like the K70 or the K95. It also has plastic construction. So even though you've still got that same two-tone sort of sleek looking finish with the black uh, with the back black base plate and the silver top. It is all made of plastic on this particular model and you've only got a single color of backlight, although at this price it is actually kind of nice to see a backlight at all. So it has a red backlight with six levels of illumination and it doesn't have quite as many banks of macro keys as some of the higher end keyboards, although I personally find this to be enough because particularly if you're gaming on WASD, can you really reach over to a second or a third bank of macro keys? I kind of doubt it. And you have three different layers of function for them with the M keys up at the top. You've got a Windows lock key, brightness adjust, dedicated key, so no function nonsense for that. You've also got dedicated media keys, although I really wish that they'd found a way to implement their volume scroll bar instead of just volume buttons like they have on their higher end keyboards. That's kind of unfortunate. It is not a 10 keyless model, so you have the full keyboard layout. And if there was one thing that I was gonna say is a little bit funny about this one, uh, you've got color-coded WASD, which is normal, but see this? The space bar actually has a bit of an angle to it. So it is not necessarily as optimized for typing where you'd expect the space bar to be more flat, but it is definitely more comfortable if you have a more relaxed WASD position on the keyboard. This isn't something that Corsair markets, but you can actually see the entire bottom row has that curvature to it, which isn't something that you would normally find on a keyboard. It does feature anti-ghosting technology. So while it's not, you know, N key rollover or anything like that, uh, you're not gonna be running into issues normal in, in normal use where you're pressing buttons and you're having random extra keystrokes generated and okay we can flip around to the bottom where you have rubber feet on the bottom uh, unfortunately no rubber feet are built into the little stand-up pieces however these two at the bottom are quite large and robust so you shouldn't have too much difficulty with that and finally, of course, there's the onboard memory. So that means that once you've set up these advanced macro keys and whatever else that you've set up on it, you don't have to worry about installing the driver software on any PC that you would happen to use it on or if you reformat or whatever else because it will be stored on the memory built into the keyboard. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the Corsair Raptor K30 gaming keyboard. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and leave a comment if you know anyone named Fred. I don't.